A uh, couple of weeks ago, Jamie Dimon uh, criticized Bitcoin. Uh, could you encapsulate briefly what his criticism was and then how you would rebut it? Because I'm very interested in uh, the topic. Um, I believe his specific criticism was, and I, I may paraphrase, that Bitcoin is a fraud that has no financial basis and is not backed by anything. Uh, that was the criticism by Jamie Dimon, head of J.P. Morgan Chase, who um, actually got fined uh, two billion dollars for mortgage fraud, which J.P. Morgan Chase paid by committing more mortgage fraud. I don't know if you've seen that news. That was particularly fascinating. Um, and they did this all on the dollar, which is backed by oh, right. So. Um, <laughs> You know, I think my, my most honest reaction is, Jamie doth protest too much, methinks. And it's interesting how the head of the largest investment bank in the world finds time in his very, very busy day to speak about a nothing, an irrelevant little technology that has no impact on the world. It's almost disconcerting that he would pay so much attention. Um, by the way, as he was saying that JP Morgan traders were buying Bitcoin. So um, I will give you a prediction which I've made before. The world's banks have never faced competition from the internet. They need to learn really quickly that when the internet comes from your industry, it doesn't end well. Look at all the other industries that faced intense competition from the internet. Well, the internet is now coming for banking. And the result of that will be that banks and their executives will not only lose their industry or their power in the industry, but they will go through the five stages of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, <laughs> depression and acceptance. It starts with denial. Bitcoin can't possibly work. It will surely crash any second now. Nine years later, that's not working so well. Anger, terrorists, drug dealers, pornographers, make it stop. That's not working, because the governments figure out you can't make it stop. Bargaining. We like blockchain, but not Bitcoin. Hmm, doesn't work so well, and so on and so forth. The internet is coming for banking. And like every industry before it, the industry heads think, we will weather this storm. After all, we've been doing this for centuries. Good luck. I hope you keep that attitude until the very end.